greetings m squared we are going to simplify some square roots but these square roots if you notice have negatives inside them so when you first learn to simplify square roots they tell you you can't simplify square roots that are negative because you haven't learned about imaginary numbers yet but now that you've learned about imaginary numbers you can do that so what we're going to do is we're going to split up our square root just like we would when we simplified square roots but we always use one of our factors as negative one and then we see what else goes into this so it's negative one times 225 well hopefully you know that 225 is a square root it's a square root of 15 I mean the square root of 225 is 15 but if you didn't know you could always take a minute to check and you could say the square root of 225 and you'd see it's 15 you could also break it down and in some of the other ones will break it down um, and you'll see that in a second but so we we set it up into factors of perfect squares negative one and then whatever else and we'll come to some whatever else is in a minute but then you take and you find the square root of each one so the square root of negative one is i and the square root of 225 is 15 so the answer is 15 i and we usually write it with the, the i on the right side so this is our answer to this square root now over here again we're going to split it up into a negative one but then we're going to split it up into some common, I mean, some factors of 63. I always look for perfect factors. Well, I know 9 goes into that because they add up to 9. And 9 times 7, and 7 is a prime number, so I know that there aren't going to be any factors here. But 9, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of, I, of negative 1 is i. And then I have that square root of 7. So I like to write it with the i in the middle. You'll see some people might write it afterwards, but I like to write it with i in the middle because I don't know if it's after, if it's under the radical or beside the radical. So this is how I like to write it. And you can see how your teacher wants you to write it, but you'll see me write it like this. Okay, moving on. Now this is multiplication. So a lot of times people might want to multiply first. Well, you can't when you're dealing with negative square roots because otherwise you miss the i. So I've got to split that up and then I've got to split this up too, but I always want to use negative one as one of my factors. So the 12, 12 is four times three. 27 is nine times three. So I want to split it up into my factors and I want to look for perfect factors. I wouldn't want to use six and two because there's nothing perfect in six and two. So there's no, there aren't any perfect squares. Okay, so we're ready to go. The square root of four is two. The square root of negative one is i, and three is prime. There's no square root of it. And then the square root of negative one is i, the square root of nine is three, and then I have a square root of three. But since it's multiplied, I can multiply outsides times outsides and insides times insides. So I have two times three, which is six, i times i, which is i squared, and then I have the square root of three times the square root of three, which is the square root of nine. So I have more simplifying to do. I squared is negative one. So now I have six times negative one, which is negative six, but then I have the square root of nine, which is three, so I end up with a negative 18. Moving on to this one. I can do the outsides together right now, 12, and then I know I'm gonna have a negative one here and a negative one here. And then eight is four times two, and 200 is 2 times 100. Well, these guys, the negative ones, that's an i times an i, makes an i squared. So I have 12 times i squared. This 4, the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 100 is 10. But then I have two square roots of 2, and square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2, because it's the square root of 4, which is 2. So now I have 12 times 2, which is 24 times this 2, which is 48, and then I'll times by 10, because then I'm just adding a 0. And then this right here, i squared is negative 1. So if I multiply this by negative 1, I get a negative 480. So it's not too bad if you remember simplifying square roots from last year, but if not, you might have to do a little review. Just remember, the most important thing when you're doing these is to make sure you have a negative 1 as a factor when you're factoring things out. Good luck. M squared, signing out.